Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you Webly review and tutorial for beginners. So how do you actually use Webly here? Now before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, how do we actually use Webly here? So in this case, when we actually visit the official website for Webly.com, you should be able to see this homepage here. Where in this case, it's going to say get started with our powerful uh, free website builder. Now, if you're not aware yet, Webly is now part of the Square application. So it's actually an e-commerce website by Square. So in this case, for you to utilize the Webly system, we need to sign up on the Square platform. Now, in this case, you might be wondering, is Webly still free? Is Square actually free? So when you go to the pricing section here, you should be able to see some details about the pricing that they have. So they have the free version here, which in this case, you don't have to pay for anything. You also have the personal, which is $10 a month. Professional, $12 a month. And performance is going to be $26 a month. Now, there's going to be some features that you can access here, like for example, free SSL security and third-party embed code. And you also have the following options here for you to start using. Now, for example, shopping cart, unlimited items, item badges, and a lot more. Now, if you use the paid plans here, uh, obviously, you'll get more security and you'll get more uh, options or features that you can access. But in this case, we'll just use the free version here. Now, for you to get started, just click on the select or free plan here. Or you can go ahead and click on the sign up button at the top or right off your screen. Now, in this case, once you've selected the button or the appropriate buttons here, it should redirect you to the sign up page. Where in this case, you need to include some details about yourself. So that includes your first name, your last name, your email, and the confirmation of your email, as well as the password that you want to use and your local. Now, it's also you also it's going to request uh, request you to read their terms and privacy policy. So I would suggest you to read their terms and privacy policy just to make sure that you know what you're getting into and what is allowed and not allowed within the platform itself. Now, in this case, once you fill out all the necessary details in the next pages, they will ask you some additional information about yourself and your business. So that includes your business name, your phone number, and a lot more. In this case, go ahead and just answer that, and you should be able to see the main UI or dashboard for Square or Webly. Now, in this case, since I've already created my account, I want to sign in. So I'm going to click on sign in at the bottom section here. And from here, I just need to provide my email as well as my password to successfully sign in. So let's just go ahead and sign in. Now, once signed in, this is what you'll be seeing on your dashboard. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you can do here. So, for example, you have the overview section here, which in this case, you'll be able to see the uh, details about your uh, website. So that includes your sales, page views, unique visits, and a lot more. Now, if you want to view your, for example, edit your website, you could go to website here, which in this case, I'll be showing you how to do that later on. Now, if you want to add items into your website, you could go ahead and go to items and view the site items here and start adding your items. Now, if you click on site, site items here, you should be able to see the site or the all the items that or products that you have on your website. Now, to add a new product, you just need to click on the create new item at the top right of your screen. And from here, just fill up all the details required here. But in this case, the item type, the media, the item title, price and the visibility here the fulfillment the additional information variations modifiers and a lot more in this case once you fill out all those details just click on the save button at the top right to save your product now in this case let's go ahead and view the other time other things that we could actually view here now, in this case, you have the order section here, which in this case would actually include all the orders that you'll be receiving on your website or even an option for you to export your orders if you want to. Now, in this case, this is a great way for you to start managing your orders if you have them. Now, we also have the report section here, which in this case could include some details about your website. So the summary here would contain general information or details about your website, but we also have the details for site traffic, site activity, sources, and online sales and site items if you want to view them. Now, we also have the abandoned cards option or page here, which in this case, if someone actually added some items into their cart, this you, you'll be able to actually uh, learn more which items are getting abandoned on their cart, which is a great way for you to improve on. 
Now, you also have the coupons here if you want to start adding them and the marketing section as well. Now, obviously, there's going to be, again, a lot of things that you could do here on uh, the Square website or the Webly website or system here. Now, how do you actually start editing or actually uh, editing or changing a few things on the actual website? So you need to go to the website here and from here, you just need to choose the option that says edit site. Now, by the way, if you're not aware yet, you could actually create your own website here. At the top right, you should see a drop down. So in this case, if you want to add a new site, just click on add site. And from here, you just need to follow the questions and some details they need to fill out here. So that includes the website name and some details like, for example, how do you want to start using it? So for example, I'm going to say there's going to be a RNZ test site here so this is just an example you can go ahead and do whatever here just click on continue and from here you have the option to uh, set uh, the primary shipping location for this website so in this case you could go ahead and click on the appropriate one here or if you if you haven't added the address yet it's going to ask you to add an address but for now we're going to hit on continue and it's going to start setting up our website now in this case i just wait for it to load up and again, we should be able to start creating it. And as you can see, it's now up and running. Now to start editing your website, you can go to overview or the website section here and just click on edit site to start editing it. And you should be able to see the editor. Now, in this case, there are going to be a lot of things that you could do here. Like for example, adding new sections, adding new pages into your website. Now in this case, how do you start editing it? Well, at the left panel, we have our main sections. So in this case, uh, by default, these are the sections that you should see here. The header, main banner, email newsletter, footer, and footer branding. Now, depending on what section you actually select here, you should be able to change a few things. Like for example, if I click on the header section here, I should be able to edit some sections like the navigation, like for example, a drop down option, or if you want to choose a mega menu here, but you need to upgrade your plan for you to start using it. You also have the customization for the layout on it. Like for example, this one, or you can even change it to this one if you want to. Now we have different sections that you can change here, different designs that you can change depending on what section that you've actually selected. Now in this case, I'm going to hit Undone since I'm done editing it. Now again, if you want to change a specific section, just click on it. Again, uh, depending on what section that you actually add here or you're trying to edit, some sections or some settings or layouts might be different. Now in this case, uh, uh, it might take a bit some time to uh, get used to it. But in this case, so once you've edited your uh, site or your section, just click on done again. If you want to add a new section, just click on add section here and you should be able to add a new section. So in this case, you could choose from the following options. You can even choose a text here or video button. Now there's going to be a lot of choices that you uh, do here, but some or uh, sections are actually uh, actually needs an upgraded plan. So if you want to utilize scoring text, embed code, or the other sections here you need to upgrade your plan but in this case uh, most of the basic sections here that you could use are actually uh, available here like for example text and image go ahead and choose that and choose whatever option i want here so maybe i want to use this one and from here let's go ahead and click on add at the top right and you should be able to add it now again you should be able to access some uh options or settings in here so in this case you have the columns here since it's going to be a section and depending on the layout they have chosen here now if you want to edit a specific uh section here you could go ahead and click on that and from here you can change the title image text or even enable a button here if you want to add a button on that specific section now in this case let's go ahead and go back here and click on done and that should apply our section as you can see text and image is now added here now if you want to reposition your section here you could go ahead and just uh, drag and drag uh, drag and drop it into that specific section to change a few things like for example we want to uh, change it uh, make it at the top section here or even uh, uh, reposition the email newsletter here but in this case once you've edited your uh, site or your page here you can actually change pages here like if you click on the home drop down here you have the following pages so you have the categories as well so if you want to add a new page just click on add page here and fill out all the necessary details here so in this case you have the recommended here we have appointment steps instagram so this contain some specific sections that you could actually use but if you want to start from scratch just choose the blank page here to add a blank page 
But in this case, once you've added your pages, added your sections, uh, we are now ready to publish our website. Now in this case, to publish that, you just need to click on the publish button at the top right of your screen to publish your website. And from here, it's going to set up your domain. And from here, it's going to say your site has been published. Now, you just need to copy your website or your uh, specific URL here and start sharing it to your friends or to your customers. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.